Hi guys, it's Mel with Well by Mel. I wanted to do a video today um, based off of some of the comments that one of my clients uh, gave to me this morning. We were talking about nutrients and what is good for you and what is bad for you. And he expressed his frustration with contradictory information. And I so feel for him and so many other people too. Um, and that is why a year and a half ago to two years ago, I started doing a lot of research into nutrition because there was so much contradictory information out there and I was getting completely fed up with it. And it's still out there and it breaks my heart. Um, so if you're one of those people who feels like you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, that there's so much information out there and one day it's this and one day it's that, one thing you have to realize is that you have to figure out where you're getting this information from, who is the source, and what is their motivation. So a lot of times if you get your nutritional information from TV and magazines, they have other motivations, and it's usually money. Even if it's a health magazine, they're in business to make money, not to make you healthy. So I would recommend start doing your own research if your health is important to you but I would plead you not to play a victim and actually go there and do the research. Now, one of the books I would re recommend to anyone who really wants to take hold of their health and wellness is to read the book by T. Colin Campbell, PhD, called Whole, Rethinking the Science of Nutrition. So he's also one of the authors of The China Study, which I've mentioned before. The China Study is an amazing book, and it talks about um, a lot of the misinformation that's out there and his actual research. He is a researcher. He's gone in. He's done the work. He's not just someone who is relaying information from someone else's research. He is the researcher. Um, but it's called Whole. It's backwards. Um, and it really goes into why we are so confused when it comes to nutrition, why there's so much conflicting information. He goes down deeper. He goes into the business of it. And when there's information that's so blatant and so easy that you're like, oh my gosh, how did I not know this? Why doesn't everyone eat this way? Why doesn't everyone know this information? He goes in and he explains it because you start to feel kind of crazy. Even after I've done all the research and I've learned as much as I've learned and I want to share with people, it's still hard to share this information because there's so much stuff going on out there that's conflicting with it. And it makes me want to, if I wasn't losing my hair, it'd make me want to pull out my hair. Um, but this really goes into it and explains why it's so challenging to figure out what is true and what is false and fictitious. Um, he goes in and he explains, you know, the business behind it. And he also explains whole. The reason why it's called whole is because whole foods, whole fruits and vegetables, a whole plant-based diet, not eating things in little tiny packages that have all these vitamins and minerals um, pushed into them. It's talking about, you know, the idea of the apple having all these nutrients perfect the way they're supposed to be, all the phytochemicals that we have no idea about and how we can't I completely understand how one nutrient can interact with hundreds and thousands of other nutrients and do something completely different that we cannot pinpoint. We can't take a nutrient and isolate it and have it work the way you think it's supposed to work. Mother Nature doesn't work that way. Our bodies are not meant to work that way. Our bodies are meant to eat whole living foods. And as soon as you dissect them and put single nutrients into a substance, you are losing out on the real benefit, the real. So there is a lot of contradictory information out there. And if you want to know the truth, you have to be um, an advocate for your own health and you have to do the research. And I would suggest reading whole so you can understand why you're not going to get the real information from TV and magazines. You're very likely not even to get the real information from nutritionists and doctors, unfortunately, because, you know, no one wants to step outside the box. Everyone wants to do the same thing that everyone else is doing. Um, no one wants to get out there and be a renegade and change lives. There are people out there who are doing it, though. There's doctors out there 
that are doing it. Um, there's researchers out there that are trying to get the message out and I'm just trying to get the message out. And some people might think I'm crazy and that's okay. I mean, if eating a lot of fruits and vegetables is crazy, then I guess I'm nuts. Um, but I'm willing to take on that role because I'm really passionate and I want people to get healthy and I'm, you know, on this journey trying to get healthy and I want to share that with anyone else who's interested in it. And not everyone is and not everyone's willing to, to do the work and um, people say it's extreme to eat fruits and vegetables. That's extreme. Well, I, um, I think getting heart disease and having heart disease start in our children at ages nine and 10, um, that is extreme to me. Like, do you realize that they're finding heart disease that's starting in our children at ages nine and, eight and 10? Um, having children get diabetes, adult onset diabetes, having anyone get diabetes, having limbs taken off, getting your, your chest opened up and having people work inside of you, having your organs being exposed by sta to stale air. Um, there's a lot of diseases out there that are really extreme. And I'm, I personally don't think eating fruits and vegetables and eating whole foods is, is extreme. It makes me feel amazing. I just want to share that with people. So maybe I'm extreme, maybe I'm um, crazy, uh, and I'm okay with that because you know, the people who just go along with everything else and just do as they're told and don't ask questions and don't step outside the box, you know, they don't get any extraordinary results. And that's what I'm looking for. And I'm not perfect. So one thing I want to make absolutely clear is that I am not perfect. I've never said to be perfect. I don't eat perfect. I am absolutely doing my best. Yeah, so I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to be perfect, but I am trying to figure out what makes me feel the absolute best and try to stick to that because um, that is the, that makes me happy. Being happy, being outside when it stops snowing <laughs> here in Wisconsin. Um, being outside, spending time with my family, being active and moving around and eating foods that just make me feel vibrant, make me feel good every day. Oh. That's my home. So if you want to feel amazing and vibrant, um, I my first step is eat more whole foods, fruits and vegetables, even like brown rice, um, whole real things that don't have ingredients on the sides because you don't need to worry about the ingredients because if you're eating whole real foods, everything is going to come in there that you need. Um, and if you're looking for some research to start off because I, that's what I always suggest, whole, by Dr. T. Colin Campbell, and then his first book, which is The China Study, which is an amazing first place to start. Um, those are the two books that I would recommend diving into first so you don't feel so confused. All right, guys, I um, will talk to you soon. Read, do your research, go grab some fruits and veggies to snack on while you're doing it, and then I will talk to you next week.